Across the divide between ugly partisan politics and John McCain was relatable, a neighbor to many Arizonans as we shared last hour, but it may be his tenacity and fighting spirit that lends most to the integrity that we will miss with that Maverick. Team 12's Jen Wall is live outside the mortuary where a procession will begin in just a few hours, giving the public and his peers a chance to say goodbye. One of whom is challenging us all to feel like a McCain. Is that right, Jen? <laughs> You got it. Good morning to you. Certainly a lot of emotion out here at the mortuary today as the procession begins in just a few hours. Right now, you can still see a nice memorial set up outside of the mortuary. We have flags and balloons. There's a state trooper also parked in front as McCain's body, Senator McCain's body, is prepared to leave. And it's here at the mortuary where we've seen many who've watched Senator McCain take names and make policy in Washington. They knew him from News of the Day or seeing him out in the community yesterday. We saw a lot of that talking with voters on primary day. Now, outside of his family and community leaders, those who likely knew him best, his congressional family, sometimes they would spar over different bills and ideologies. But what we've heard also is how much respect on the Hill there was for the senator here at home, too, from constituents. And that came out in an emotionally powerful interview with his political wingman, Senator Lindsey Graham. And here's what he told NBC News. I cry for a man who had honor and always was willing to admit to his imperfection. So to those who are striving as a young person, remember John McCain. He failed a lot, but he never quit. My name is Graham. All right, so back out here live, fellow Senator Jeff Flake will be at the ceremony later today, along with Governor Doug Ducey. And we, of course, will be covering everything live as soon as this procession starts in just a few hours here at the mortuary. So stay with us on 12 News, 12news.com, and all of our social platforms. For now, we're live in Phoenix, Jen Wall, 12 Today. All right, thanks, Jen. A showdown looms in November's midterm.